Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It was recently brought to my attention that someone was teaching that the Apostle Paul was not actually an apostle, and that's what we'll look at today. Scriptural Truth was the channel brought to my attention and she admits that she's lost a lot of friends with this heretical teaching that she says is true. But I was amazed at how much support she has and couldn't believe some of the comments I saw. I mean, just look at what people are saying here. Oh, how much manna. This is one of the most beautiful teaching I've heard. I'm so happy to find your channel. Or, I really love the way you broke this down. How about... I have also come to this conclusion guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, no, you haven't. You've been deceived by an evil spirit. And you can see the rest here. But then I realize she isn't the only one. I'm just going to show you a few of these channels before we go through a few details of why this is so wrong. We have Scripture Finder, J.R.E. Show, Hugh Whitmore, Trumpet Call, Rod C. Davis, Marshall Payne. Yeah, I'm in pain just seeing how many false teachers on this topic are out there. Douglas N. Video, Theology Room. Yeah, bad theology. And the one to be really concerned about is Christian Truthers. He's got almost 50,000 subscribers that probably believe this lie. This is incredible, and he just recently put out this video, 50 Reasons to Never Quote Paul Again, Part 1. Good gravy, there's going to be a Part 2? Now, for a detailed debunking of every one of his reasons, you can watch this video that I'll leave a link to called Defending Paul, and it gives great answers to each one. Or if you're more of a reader, you can scan through this site here, 119 Ministries, that also debunks each point. But this is an incredibly dangerous and false teaching. It's teaching that the Bible we have today is not God's complete word. And if someone is using this faulty man-made reasoning to come to this conclusion, well, what's to stop someone from challenging any of the books in the Bible? This is exactly how cults start. If someone rejects Paul as an apostle, it will eventually lead to rejecting anyone in the Bible that confirmed Paul as an apostle. We know that Peter confirmed Paul as a man of God by referring to him as a brother in 2 Peter 3.15. And by saying that Paul wrote with the wisdom God gave him tells us that he was inspired by the Holy Spirit, just like we see in 2 Peter 1.20.21. We read that no prophecy was ever brought forth by the will of man, but by being led by the Holy Spirit. We'd have to reject all 13 books that God inspired Paul to write. And if those weren't inspired by God, I guess First and Second Peter weren't either, because Peter says Paul is a brother. I guess we might as well throw out 2 Timothy 3.16 that says all scripture was God-breathed. If you reject Paul, you're saying that God made a mistake because Paul was chosen by God. Do you see how dangerous this really is? Some out there are very kind in challenging this issue, but I call this heresy. This is no small thing in any way and gives us reasons to doubt the whole Bible if it's true. If we look at 1 Corinthians 14, it says, If anyone considers himself a prophet or spiritual person, let him acknowledge that what I am writing to you is the Lord's command. But if anyone ignores this, he himself will be ignored. So, if Paul really is an apostle, which he is, and someone is not acknowledging that what he is writing is from God, he will be ignored. And I don't think Paul is throwing a hissy fit and saying, Humph, I'm going to ignore you. No, he's implying that God will ignore them. And why wouldn't he? You either have faith in God's complete word or you don't. It's not your option to choose which people were really apostles or not. You're implying that God messed up when writing the Bible. You're creating your own belief system and making up your own God. We don't get to pick and choose. So, if you are someone that is believing this lie that Paul was not an apostle, please consider these things mentioned today. Or better yet, watch the video that biblically debunks every claim Justin Best of Christian truthers is making. 
Everyone, please pray that God would have mercy and open these people's eyes to the truth. And until next time, take care and God bless.